You're heading to Vegas this weekend, Tim? I, I wish I was. <laughs> a lot of people are. I wouldn't be going here, though. Not to this one? No. <laughs> the Storm Area 51 Madness is now in Las Vegas Valley. And despite all the twists and turns, this big ET festival is still going on. Center of all the action is Lincoln County, where emergency responders and public officials are hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. George Knapp takes a look. The impending event, dubbed Storm Area 51 Base Camp, is a commercial venture, but one with an artistic soul and a dab of social conscience, as if Burning Man had a Vulcan mind meld with the X-Files. By Thursday afternoon, traffic to Lincoln County was already thicker than normal, including a phalanx of vehicles from the Clark County Fire Department, a large contingent of Metro officers, some of whom got into the spirit of things, shopping for alien merchandise after their shift ended. The only of the Alien Research I mean, Center, George Harris, says he expects upwards of 6,000 people to arrive for the first day. Business is already brisk. Security is tight, but not oppressive. Rows of porta potties are lined up like sentinels, anticipating a lot of action. Crews work through the day to finalize preparations, dealing with strong winds and desert dust. As the sun faded Thursday evening, technicians were still fine-tuning a high-tech stage that will be a focal point of the base camp program, featuring UFO speakers, films, and musicians, including famed DJ Paul Oakenfold. Among the artistic contributions to the overall vibe, a pretty cool use of old tires. Well, I'm out here uh, working on this sculpture here. It's called Extra Tire Restrial. The Storm Area 51 movement may have started as an internet joke, but struck a nerve with a public that's increasingly interested in UFO secrecy and government transparency. Well, there's several, uh, actually nine, uh, flying saucers, flying discs. The seed was planted 30 years ago by a former government scientist named Bob Lazar, who told his story on KLAS-TV. 115 sets up a gravitational field. Lazar is expected to make a statement or appearance at the base camp event. You know, for 30 years, we've all seen these warning signs. Do not cross the line. Don't take any photographs. Use of deadly force is authorized. No one would be crazy enough to cross that line and go into Area 51, would they? And what would happen if they... On the ET Highway, George Knapp. Now, according to uh, Military.com, the Air Force will have reinforcements in the area this weekend for those that might actually think about storming through Area 51.